Hello beautifuls, I hope you're having a good day wherever you are on this planet. Uh, this is day eight, or is it day nine? Oh my goodness me, I'm getting my days muddled up. I think it's day nine of uh, lockdown. So let's have a look at how we're doing. Have you, have you sat in with yourself yet? and actually ask yourself, how am I actually doing through this? I hope you're doing well, wherever you are. So tonight I wanted to talk about protection. Now, I'm gonna talk about protection against the virus, but I'm also gonna talk about protection spiritually. And actually certain aspects of both of them are uh, relevant and the same. So I've written a few notes down here. I hope I don't forget anything. Uh, so I'm going to actually end this talk with a protection type meditation and to do this and for it for you to build up a field which is going to be strong uh, and this is a um, an energetic field. I have had to do this in the past. Uh, in a certain circumstances when I was uh, in a, a very old haunted house in um, the UK and it took, it doesn't happen straight away, so it took me two days to build up a magnetic field that then stopped this um, spirit from coming in to my, to my field. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do take you through a protection exercise. Um, this, this is spiritual protection, this exercise. But for it to truly kick in and be very strong, you're going to have to do it several times. So if you feel that you're under psychic attack or anything like that, or you feel like there is a spirit in the house or whatever it is, and you feel like you need to spiritually protect yourself, start doing it, and I would start off with at least twice a day doing it. I'm gonna try and keep it short um, to make it easier for everyone. But I would recommend to begin with, start off doing it twice a day. And you might need to do it twice a day for three days, four days, um, but you will, after three or four days, as long as you've sat with it and consciously uh, with your consciousness actually gone through the whole exercise, feeling it as well, you will have built up a field. This is a magnetic field which will stop anything negative from coming in. So we, we still want the love stuff to come in, don't we? Uh, so we're just going to, with intention, we're going to stop the negative stuff from coming in. Having said all that, I don't protect myself now. I don't need to, and I'll tell you why. Because on a spiritual level, I know I'm so strong and so powerful and so in touch with who I am on a spiritual level, on a soul level, that I have no fear about anything spiritual. Whether it's, what would you call an earth, earthbound spirit or uh, an entity or whatever. I, I have no fear about that in other dimensions at all. So I am in that respect, I am fully in my power. So I very, very rarely get anything come on board or even try to because they're more fearful of me than what I am of them. And if I do get happen to get a earthbound spirit come up close and try and get on board or even just come into my energy field on the edge I know that they've done it because they need help they want to go over so that is a way for all you people like me out there the light workers the healers and and everyone else like that the moment you stand fully in your own light, your own power, your own strength, with no fear whatsoever, that's when you will be protected. It's, it's literally the fear is what lowers your protection. 
there are moments when emotion can lower your protection as well. So um, this is a big one, actually. If you have an emotional release, I mean, we're all here. There's all bits and pieces with, it, with us where we need healing. Uh, otherwise, we wouldn't be here. If we were perfect and light and no more lessons to learn, we would have passed over. So the fact that we're all here is there is some stuff, some lessons, some healing that perhaps needs to come up. Uh, so where, if you have an emotional release, if you feel a bit down, you're lowering your frequency. And the moment you lower your frequency is when you are opening yourself up. So again, I'm going to go back to that feeling strong, feeling powerful, feeling happy, feeling uh, on top of everything and good vibes. That is when you're at your strongest in every way, actually, because this is where it also goes over into uh, physically against the virus or against illness. When you are feeling strong, you're feeling empowered, you're feeling joyful, you're feeling love, you're feeling grateful and all those beautiful feelings, that's when you've raised your frequency right up and your immune system will also be fully active, fully activated. This is how it is. It's like I sometimes feel like I might be getting a cold, I get the snivels or something. And I talk to myself, I talk to my body, I say, no, there's no way you're coming in here, mate. This is exactly how I speak to it. If it's a cold, a virus, whatever. I say, there's no way you're coming in here, mate. And then I start to really feel my own power, push it out. But also I, at the same time, make sure I eat healthily. I eat apples, I'll eat fruit, I'll have vitamin C tablets if I need it, if I feel I need to double dose it. Um, and I try and make sure my system is working properly. So as I heard on the radio today, to really up your immune system, eat rainbows. How funny is that? Of course it means eat bright coloured vegetables and fruit. Eat rainbows. That will really raise your vibration within your whole, whole body, within your cells. It will raise your immune system by feeding your body the correct things. Um, so without further ado, let's, let's uh, take you through this. Um... Oh, actually, one more thing. I just remembered my notes. Crystals. So lots of crystals have protection uh, in them and it's mainly the dark ones. Now, out of my experience, and I don't know whether there is much flint around here, but flint is the most powerful grounding protection stone that I have found. Brilliant stuff. Now, in the UK, if you're listening and you're from the UK, especially southern England, where I'm from, which is Dorset, there is flint all over the place. In the garden, in the fields, flint everywhere. Brilliant protection grounding stone. Another thing that is going to keep you protected is being grounded. It's important to get out in nature, to get your feet on the ground and actively with intention see your energy from your heart space, from your entire body, coming down through your body, right the way down and into the ground and anchoring in. Feel it. Feel your energy anchoring into the earth and connecting with all that beautiful, beautiful energy that the earth holds. There is uh, a grounding protection exercise. Actually, I might include that in today's um, pr grounding protection exercise. I'll, I'll include that. It's a connection exercise to keep you connected above and below, but also very, very grounded. So I will include that. So being grounded also helps you be spiritually connected. So flint, that's the one out of, out of the stones and crystals. Flint, I have found to be the most powerful. We have smoky quartz, that's a, another good one. Um, we have a black obsid obsidian, very, very good. And jet, so any of the darker black stones 
really good for grounding and some of them protection as well. So um, you can carry a stone in your bag or if you've got if you're a woman tuck it down your bra or if you're a man put it in your pocket um, and set the intention so energize the crystal and set the intention that it is for spiritual protection if that's what you're after or it's for helping you to stay grounded you can set the intention and energize any crystal to do whatever you would like it to do so obviously it's got its own properties first but you can energize that crystal to do what you are wanting it to do as well now when i was in the uk and i was staying in this haunted house i actually put flint all around my bed wonderful stuff with that and doing a grounding protection exercise Within three days, I built up a field around my bed because this thing was only coming at night. I built up a field around my bed and that, that last night when it came in, I could hear with with my human ears. So it wasn't with my my spirit ears. I could actually hear static in the air and I watched the dark uh, energy come up to the edge of the field that I'd managed to build up and then tried to get in and couldn't, so I heard all this static, and then it flew around the outside and flew out the door. That in itself empowered me. It also taught me that I can do this myself. Uh, and of course, all, all that goes together. Once you know that you can do it yourself, you get all the empowerment come in. And, and I know that that whole event happened, because spirit bring things to you to learn, to help you learn. That whole event happened uh, for the work that I was about to embark on. And that's when I then started to do my clearing work and, and really working in other dimensions uh, with spirit, with uh, what I call uh, earthbound entities, and also, um, uh, it, I call them negative interdimensional beings. Now I get visuals with what they look like. Um, I don't want to frighten anyone here because uh, they're quite rare, those. So um, most of the majority of people, as long as they're feeling strong and empowered, are protected anyway. So I'm only putting this video out for people who feel they might need it because I worked with someone today who um, had a chain of events happen and opened themselves up to, for something to come in. So again, like I said, it's it, this helps for against uh, any um, naughty spirit that might be out there, uh, but it also helps to keep out any psychic attack and that's, that can come in simple things like somebody else's thought form, because we're all very powerful beings now, but somebody else's thought form, just thinking something negative about somebody else. Simple as that. That's why it's so important to not be judgmental, to, to um, know that when someone does something that might cheese you off, they've done it because there's something going on in their life, it's nothing personal, you know, and all those things, because you don't want to be going thinking bad things about people because you're actually sending that energy to them. The best thing you can do for another person that might have cheesed you off in some way or pissed you off in some way is to actually send them a love bomb. Build up a love bomb, energy bomb, energy ball bomb. Easy to build up. I will teach you this on another video. Uh, and literally you build up this beautiful unconditional love bomb and you throw it at them and you will see a change. It's powerful. It's powerful stuff. We've gone past the point of just physicality now. We're actually multidimensional beings and everybody is and, and many people don't know that they are because the, and of course they're still thinking the normal human stuff well this is why we have to rise above things and not react and just go with the flow um, and understand that other people are going through things and often that's why they react to things so 
So, okay, I think, I think I'm ready to do the protection thing now. So get yourself somewhere comfy. You can lie down or you can sit down. It's up to you, wherever you, whatever you want to do, uh, wherever you feel comfortable. So I want you to close your eyes. Just taking a deep breath. And out. And on the out breath, allowing everything to relax. Again, on the in breath, breathing in unconditional love this time. Feeling it into your heart space for space, feeling your heart expand out. And releasing again. Again, breathing in, breathing in beautiful, unconditional love, feeling it flood through your body, going into every cell and out through your skin into your energy field. So you're lying in a bubble of unconditional love or you're sitting in a bubble of unconditional love. And on the next breath out, just releasing, letting go, letting go of any control, any thoughts that might be coming in and being centered being within yourself, being in that beautiful space, that peaceful, calm space. So I want you to just connect in with your beautiful heart energy now. Your heart chakra, like all your chakras, but especially your heart chakra, is the most amazing energy centre. It is multidimensional in nature. It can the energy within it is connected through time and space, like all of your chakras, but your heart chakra is even more powerful. So we're just connecting into the heart chakra now, which is in the center of your chest. And I want you to see that beautiful, beautiful ball of, you can either see it pink energy, or you can see it as green, beautiful, beautiful energy. And we're just now going to pull down some of that energy from your heart chakra and, and allow it to come down through your other energy centers into your solar plexus, your tummy, down into your sacral chakra, which is just below your belly button, and down into your base chakra, which is at the base of your spine, and just below the base of your spine. And then down your legs, into your knees, down your shins, filling your feet, and out of the bottoms of your feet, there's a chakra on the bottoms of both feet, out of those chakras going into your earth star chakra, which is about 12 centimeters below your feet, and then down through a central funnel down into the earth, connecting into the earth's heart and the earth's consciousness. See your energy, even see it like little hooks on the end, if you like, connecting deep within the earth and hooking in. And through that central funnel that's coming down, which is your energy that's coming down from your body, through that central funnel, I want you to see like a rooted system coming out all the way around. So you're connecting to the Earth's chakra system. You're connecting to the Earth's energy system, the, the ley lines. You're connecting to the new 5D and beyond crystalline grids There's in the earth, around the earth and within each living thing on the earth. And this is new 5D higher dimensional frequency. Crystalline in nature, very powerful, very loving, very peaceful, but very strong. So connecting into that 5D and beyond, because it doesn't stop at 5D. It goes beyond that. Connecting into that, allowing your energy to blend with that beautiful high frequency. And then connecting to the ancient beings of the trees. They have been here hundreds of years, these beautiful beings ancient beings that have seen many, many things over hundreds and hundreds and thousands of years. We're connecting into them energetically. Blending with them. 
Also connecting into all the mother crystals that are in the earth. Very powerful healing crystalline energy as well. And also connecting into all of the kingdoms of the earth. So the plant kingdom, the animal kingdom, the fungi, the insect and every other kingdom of the earth. Connecting in, blending your energy with, with all of it. And last but no, by no means least, connecting into all the interdimensional and multidimensional beings that live in the earth and on the earth. It will help you connect when you're out actually for a walk in nature. It will help you connect with them. You can use your consciousness to blend your energy with the plants and the trees in the ground when you're walking through a forest or even through a paddock, whatever it is, when you're out in nature, blending your consciousness because in this exercise you're already blending your energy through your consciousness. So that is how you fully ground yourself. So your energy now is fully grounded in and what we're going to do now is actually draw on some of that beautiful, beautiful, high, powerful, healing, grounding energy of the earth and bring it back through that system, that rooted system, into that central funnel, up through that central funnel, into the bottoms of your feet and feeling it move up through your body, up your shins, into your knees. And as it's coming up your legs and body, it is going into every single cell. The Earth's energy is blending with your own energy now, coming up your thighs, into your base chakra, uh, below the base of your spine, and then up through your chakra system, spreading out throughout your whole body on a multidimensional level. So it's going into your physical body, your soul body, your emotional body and your mental mind body coming up through and as it's coming up through beautiful blending in with your your sacral chakra your solar plexus your heart your throat your third eye your crown and then out into your upper cosmic chakra centers and also out into your aura it's fully anchored and connected to the earth and you have the Earth's energy running through your entire energetic system now. Feeling that connection to the Earth. And how powerful that is. So the Earth's energy is going out, up, up, above your cosmic centres and right out into the cosmos. Connecting to all the planets and all that beautiful high frequency cosmic energy. The God Source. All of that very powerful, beautiful energy. And we're now drawing that down through that funnel coming down, through your upper cosmic centres, into your crown, coming down into your third eye. Again, that beautiful high frequency light is then spreading out through your entire system as it comes down into your third eye, into your throat, down over your shoulders, into your hands, down into your heart your solar plexus, your sacral chakra, down into the base of your spine, your base chakra, down your legs, into your knees, down your shins, into your feet, and out of the bottoms of your feet into your earth star chakra and straight down into the earth through that system that you've already built up, that rooted system, and also into the earth's heart, the earth's consciousness. So now you are connected equally, both above and below, because that light that's come down, that cosmic light is intelligent in nature. It knows exactly where to go and what to do in your body, but it has spread out now into your energy field as well. So you now have within you, of course, your own energy, but you have the Earth's energy and you also have the beautiful high frequency cosmic light energy coming through your entire being. That in itself is how all of us should be, walking around on this planet with the energy of the earth coming up through us and the cosmic light energy coming down into the earth, connected both above and below.
So I want you now with your consciousness to look at your own energy system. So we're already nice and grounded into the earth. We've already got the Earth's energy and the cosmic light energy in our field around us. Now to become spiritually connect, uh, uh, protected, I want you to pretend at the moment we're quite open. All of our chakras are open because we've done this beautiful connection exercise. So now I want you to use your imagination and pretend that there is a zip from the ground, going right the way up, your central system coming up through your chakras that are zipping you up all the way up. And this is not closing the chakras down, it's just zipping them up so they are a little bit more closed down than what they were. So you're zipping yourself up. It's like you've got this extra skin around you, which is also encompasses your energy field and you're zipping it up. So nothing can come in, nothing negative can come in. So I want you to see yourself zipped up. You've um, closed your chakra system down slightly. You never ever close it right down, but you've allowed them to come in, back, back into your own being. It's still working, perfectly normal. Remember what I said, this is only if you feel you need spiritual protection. So you're now your chakras are in, they are still all spinning, they're still all connected. And I want you to now see around the outside of your aura, you've got the Earth's energy and the cosmic light energy, which are very powerful energies in their, in their own right. You've also got your own energy and I want you to see your aura using your mind's eye. Remember also, we've also built up a field with that unconditional love. That we were doing right at the beginning. A beautiful, unconditional love that has gone out into your aura. So I want you to see now on the outskirts of your aura, there is a beautiful, powerful golden light. All the way around, above, below, down your back, all the way around on the outskirts of your aura. And beyond that, you can see that there are thin streams. It almost looks like as thin as a spider's web, streams of golden light that's coming in to that golden light that's around your aura. Those streams of light are connected to the highest frequency in the cosmos, which is love, unconditional love is the highest frequency and pure cosmic light technology again very very high frequency so those what looks like spiders webs that are coming in like streams of very very thin streams of light you can look at them as if they were cotton coming in and connecting in there's hundreds of them thousands of them all the way around your field that's because we have tapped into the highest frequency in the cosmos and that now is pouring into that golden shield which is around the outside of your bubble, your aura. It's building up, it's extremely strong. I see it as being about an inch thick all the way around and it is glowing with really high frequency light. So with intention, we are putting into that beautiful shield that nothing negative in any way or form, whether spiritual or psychic attack or anything, can enter that bubble. Love and high vibes and anything that matches that high frequency 
can come in. But anything on a lower frequency level, whether it's somebody else's thought forms, whether it's a spirit that, ha that has got a lower frequency, whether it's just energy that's got a lower frequency, through time and space cannot enter your shield. So I want you to just see it with your mind's eye. It's around the outskirts of your aura and it is a very bright golden white light and there are still cotton thin streams of light pouring in all the way around, keeping it up because that's what you are connected to, the highest frequency. And I want you to feel that within you. Feel that protection. Feel that power because it's seeping into your aura and coming into your being, entering and connecting in with your light body, building your light body up to a higher frequency than what it is. Feel it. It's almost like you can feel yourself growing with inside as your light body now starts to expand. And that power within you is also expanding out to the edge of that shield. Now, at any point you want, whether you're a healer, a reader, a medium, whatever, whatever you, spiritual work you do, or even if you don't do spiritual work and you just want to feel like you're protected and you want to be able to uh, use your intuition and blend your energy still with people. We're going to set the intention now that you're able to do that, to blend your energy if you're working as a healer or a reader, a psychic reader, or you're going into clear energy in a house or whatever it is that you do. You are, you can blend your energy so you can feel things, so your intuition is still working, but you are still fully protected. So nothing can come in that is of any negative nature. So I'm going to just say to you now, just also see that you are fully grounded into the earth. You have this beautiful protection, this golden bubble right the way around you. Your chakras are semi-zipped up because you've used the zip. It's simple. You can do that anytime you want. If you feel like you've opened up and you're out somewhere and you think, oh my God, I'm, I'm too open. Get your zip and zip it up. Easy, simple. Things don't have to be complicated. So now if you feel that you need to build that field up, whether you're healing in a healing practice, whether you're healing one on one or whether you are healing via the Internet. Doesn't ma ma matter because energy spirit, they don't have to be up close to you. If you are working with someone else or even into another home somewhere through the internet, say through a Zoom link or through Messenger or whatever you're using or Skype, then those channels are open. But remember, you're protected. But you can still blend your energy using your intuition where you want. Nothing negative can come in. So if you do this exercise regularly, if you feel you need it, you will be protecting yourself. It will build up a shield. It works. It's powerful. I've used it myself many years ago. I don't use it now because I don't feel I need to. But again, I'm going to say, I'm going to go back to what I said in the beginning. Once you feel fully empowered within yourself, you don't need that protection bubble. 
because you are your own protection. Your light is so powerful and shining out so brightly that anything of any negative nature doesn't want to come near you anyway. They're more frightened of you than you are of them because you have no fear. Fear is what lowers your frequency. And this is also connected with anything. Illness, the virus that's around at the moment. If you start having fear about it, you're lowering your frequency. Again, get empowered. There's no way that virus is coming in my field. Use those spiritual muscles. You are strong, you are powerful, you are a multidimensional being, you have the most amazing light that shines out. Know who you are on such a deep level. You're not just this physical being that you see in the mirror every, every morning. That is only one facet of you. You are so multidimensional that it would be hard to put a number on how many aspects of you there are. And you can tap into all that knowledge and wisdom at any time you wish. And that strength, that power. So I am going to leave this with you. I hope this has helped you. Please share all my videos. I'm doing this to help the collective here. I'm doing this to get that vibration up high. Um, and if you are new to my channel or you're new to my videos, please, uh, if you will, please subscribe, please share so other people get the chance to see this because it's helping people. It's helping empower people. So I am going to leave this with you. If you do want to know what else I do, I'll just leave you my website address so you can go along, take a look. There's a little bit of a write up about me if you don't know anything about me um, and who I am. And of course, what I do on there as well. So my website is www.ginnyjoneshealing.com. Enjoy. Get those spiritual muscles and know how powerful you are and who you are as a light being. You are very, very strong. So much love from me, blessings to you all and great gratitude to everyone who's sharing my videos. I so love you and um, enjoy and I will see you tomorrow if I've got this right. Perhaps it's day nine tomorrow. Maybe it's day nine today. I've, I've lo totally lost track of my days. Um, but no worries. It doesn't matter. I'm going to do one every day anyway. So much love. Bye for now.